shelves and fit. Ooh. Hello. Venus comb. Yep. Yoink. It is now my Venus comb. But I need to get more. Uh, see, this is the problem. It's now risky for me to go near trees because I don't have a net. And also, I'm hoping that by tomorrow they mean like after morning. Because <laughs> if this has to upgrade tomorrow, tomorrow, man, that's gonna suck. But you'll notice the moon, the sky changes in real time. Super pretty. <gasps> Hello. I do not, unfortunately, have uh, the right tools to deal with you right now. It makes me sad. Let's go for... Yeah, I don't have the tools at all. I mean, I could just go around uh, catching more bugs here and there. Or I could just buy what I need. 5 a.m. Avac is the start of the next day, I think. Woohoo! Mm. You see, this is the problem. She loves going to bed now. If she then upgrades her house after she gets up with... Uh, well, she'll have two hours. She'll have two hours. She'll have to really make a go of it to get those miles. Because it's taken me four hours to get mine. Mind you, you know, I stop and talk for a long period of time with every chance I get. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm not the best uh, the, the best uh, indicator of how long it takes. But still... I'm me. I'm me. I, I know what you're up to. Kapow! You're mine. What a hermit crap. But uh, maybe what I can do is make sure that. Hoppa! Oh, no! Hoppa! There we go. Um, I'll, I'll wake her up like, maybe in, in two hours rather than three and just like, let her, give her the options. <laughs> like, hey! So, you know how that sleep you were having is really good. But, do you want to have to wait a whole day before your house is, is fixed? Okay, this one's a six then. Hi, Avak. Love your content. Hope you're feeling well. I am feeling well. My throat is a little, little uh, croaky just because I've been talking a lot, I'm doing a lot of work. It's a bit of a side effect given my profession, but uh, yeah, I'm actually feeling really good. I wonder, could I, could I flee to the safety of the, the, of Tom Nook's shop if I angered the wasp gods? To be fair, I mean, in two hours, it's going to be almost three hours since she left. Oh, right, that's a good point, yeah. That is a good point. My humble abode, KMP, it, it's not, it's not much, but I, uh, I, I call it home. I've got a switch. I've got a radio. I've got a knot leaf in the crab. And I've got a knot belial the perch. It's truly a great time. Uh, I could just catch the wasps if, and only if, I had a means to catch them. Alas, that is no longer the, the case. <laughs> Bilal, I trust only you with this. Leaf in, I don't trust at all. Please keep my switch safe. Oh, that's true. I actually do have a net. Oh, it was one of the first things I've made. And I'm being a massive doer, aren't I? Look, it's really late. I've slept like two hours in the last, I don't know, a while. Um, in fact, yeah, I got up today at, or oh, well, yesterday now, at just a little bit past 3 a.m. Uh, and I'd had two hours up to then. So, yeah, because I went to sleep just before 1 a.m. And then I had two hours before the stream. So, yeah. At this point, I slept four hours since, uh, like, right now. Because we're just a little bit before 1 a.m. Which isn't too bad, actually, but uh, I am I am feeling a little bit washed out for some reason. 
But let me go ahead and move you. Fine. There you go. Not Balal. You now have a not nine. You're keeping them apart. They're not leaving in the not nine, because frankly, we can't trust them. You must be the responsible chaperone. Well done, not Balao. Uh, I wonder what would happen if you display them off. Guess we could find out. Uh, no, I think we're going to go and sell them off. Poor Balao. I mean, poor not Balao. Partner's tent is full of bugs and fish, trying to wait for the museum to be open. <laughs> yeah, I can 100% sympathize with that. Uh, apparently lots of people are, are, are saving up. Because, I mean, we're all in exactly the same boat. Because if it takes a whole day for the, for the museum to be set up, everyone is in exactly the same boat. We're all waiting for it. And I don't know, that feels really good to me for some reason. It feels really fun. Uh, oh. You know what? I feel the wash tub needs to be outside. Hey, sure, you can give me as many tips as you want. This isn't a game that you really spoil so much as, as anything else. I mean, if, if you genuinely think it's the sort of thing that I would I would find fun to discover myself, then sure, just use your best judgment to, to let me know that, yeah, maybe you don't want to, to hear this just now, but... Hello? Hello? I accept. Oop. Hello? Hello? I accept. Ah! Hello? Hello again? Once more, for good luck. Got four. That'll be enough for an X. Any more? Yeah, I believe there is a mileage goal for having five pieces of furniture outside, yep. Come on, give up your precious, precious twigs. I need to build an axe so I can make a birdhouse. I need a home for the birds. Oh, that was uh, quite good, actually. Birds need homes too. Give up your logs, your your twigs rather. I mean, you're gonna give up your logs as well. That's why I need the axe. But there we go. No, oh, there's one streamer you watch who was ahead of uh, the curve because he started playing um, just before his midnight, shortly after the game came out, and after two hours or so, he was on day two. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. That does make sense. There, there'll be a lot of that going on, but I, I, again, I, I just really, really find this charming. That we're all more or less just playing it together. And again, we will be having a massive share of uh, friend codes on uh, the Zappadel Discord, so if you're looking for a particular fruit, um, what I'll do is I'll set up a chat uh, room and you can just say what fruit you have growing naturally where you are. Has anyone else played a bit of the multiplayer? I've been playing it all day and it seems to count the mileage goals, goals weird for the second player. Yeah, um... Lady Sheila was saying something about that, that unfortunately the it's only the the player number one, the first person who sets it up, probably the island representative, who can further the, the plot uh, effectively. So some of the mileage goals just won't, I guess, take over because of that. But that's a bit of a shame, I feel. I, I mean, I kind of get it as well, because, uh, I don't know. You don't... <sighs> The thing with like lots of multiplayer games and MMOs in particular is that this thing where someone who plays it a lot gets really far ahead and then 
they're kind of eager for you to catch up so they speed run you through things and you miss out a lot of the fun of the content and i guess there is a desire to avoid that happening here as well where some people just get really far ahead and so you're left in a position where oh, did i did i make it oh proxy too full okay but um as a direct result you don't have um enough uh you don't know why the the town has progressed so much because you put it down for a day and come back and half the town is built up and and craziness is going on so i mean i get it but it is a shame because it it feels like it's it's less of a collaborative effort between people then and just more of yeah you're basically my my slave which is kind of how multiplayer stardew feels a little bit you're here to do all the stuff I don't want to do, whilst I do all the cool things. Got a lot of things to give up here. Awful lot of things. Push and carp can go as well. I mean, I could keep it, but I, I don't think I will. We are good. But when you run out of storage space, you can place fish and bugs outside in their tanks. Just be careful not to accidentally release the bugs. Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry that I, I didn't uh, directly acknowledge that you mentioned that uh, earlier, uh, Ubi Doobs. But yeah, I that would be useful. I don't really mind, though, cause, especially with the fishing, because uh, let's be honest. I like me some fishing in games. And I'm generally not bad at it either, so uh, I'm, I'm fine with just fishing more. You hope they can find a way around it. I don't know. I, I think it's probably a design choice, if I'm perfectly honest. So I'm not sure that uh, they'll be looking for a way around it, but I don't know. It's it's just, it's one of these these awkward scenarios. Like uh, People would suggest, oh, maybe she'll just have her own game rather than, than live on the same island. The thing is, you need an other switch for that. It's one save file. Uh, rather one island file and then you can just have multiple profiles and that's a rather expensive way to get a, a, your own save file Next fishing pole down the rabbit hole Alice <laughs> Yeah, How about that You know me too well Jack Oh Cassa needs some kisses Mwah. She's uh, just waking up with the looks of it. The whole, the whole, you know, isolation thing. I mean, it's not like we wouldn't be isolated effectively from each other anyway. She's in, in Norway at the moment, but uh, she's feeling it quite a lot. And I don't know, it makes it a bit more real when you no longer have the option. Even if you couldn't have afforded to, to visit each other like every day, like you want to, having the choice absolutely taken off you makes it a bit more real. So we are coexisting on our phones right now. Just kind of got the camera phones active. Feels very, very, uh, like, early 2000s kind of, oh yeah, in the next decade sci-fi. Come on the fishy. Nope. Come on. Don't be coy. Ha-ha! Got you all. Caught an empty can. Are you supposed to cast the fish before you can it? Also, that is a really, really agile can. It also seems to move around. Uh, this empty can could be repurposed. Got an idea for a DIY recipe. Marvelous. What have I got? Ah, that is amazing. That is genuinely fantastic amazing. I like it. A lot, actually. Wow. Trash fishing. Work extra hard to keep your island clean. I need to make a plan, friend. I know I was going to do other things, but this is now much more important to my life. Yeah, the red snapper pun is amazing. I really like it.
<laughs> Cass was trying to get your attention yesterday when we were having an under the sea dance party. You didn't notice. She was sad. Uh, it does happen. <laughs> when the camera's on all the time, it's just a tiny little phone. Uh, there are times when I'll, I'll miss things. Uh, is that the only one of its kind? Yeah, it looks like it. Sure. Let's do this. A shock! I'm so excited to see you playing Animal Crossing, Avec. Hello, cat. I'm not sure why you'd be surprised, though. I mean, it's, it's pretty much the sort of game you'd imagine an Avec to be playing. It's not all Rimworld and, and colonies and, and, and eating people and surviving and building factories. Sometimes I just like to cut back and just just uh, wallow in the simple pleasures of life. All done for now. <laughs> I think we have been a good chat. Have we earned face cam privileges? I mean, I can stick face cam on a little bit, but uh, not until we have a, like a break or something. Because again, I don't know if this is going up on YouTube, but there's an outside chance it will. I have asked uh, asked peeps. Um, to let me know in the in the comments to my like stream notification that I put up in the community section on YouTube if they would like to see the vods, and so I'm gonna hold off on that. I'm well until I've got a, a tea kettle and and a tea set to put on my tea table. We're gonna put a beautiful little flower arrangement that we have have repurposed a can. We have taken trash and made it into into something else. I mean. Honestly, you know, one man's trash is another man's treasure, and uh, that's not to say that, that, that you know, you looking at something, oh, that's that's a horrible work of art, and someone's like, actually, that I'm like more proud of that than anything else in my life. Um, but that was literal pollution, and we've made something beautiful out of it. I feel accomplished. Oh, little fishy. Ah, I've been coy once again. Oh, triple coin. Ha-ha! Got you. If Hulk Havoc was a regular Havoc on the same island would be amazing to watch. One side. You know what? One day, I'll do something like... Uh, I'll do an eco playthrough, and I'll very tightly ration my time on there with different mindsets. So, you know, I'll make a cup of coffee, and I'll be like, right, the next four hours, I am playing eco as Havoc. Avak the con conserver, Avak the planter of trees, Avak the one who wants this this world to not just exist but to thrive. And then the other side will be like, nah, I've got coffee and I want that metal, yo, and I want it now, yo. So I'm going to set up production lines, there's going to be a factory, and I, I mean, the pollution's got to go somewhere. I'm not going to be wading around in it while I'm making my, my fine metal works that I'm then going to sell for a ridiculous profit. And I, you know what, that asteroid about to hit the planet? Nah, that's for you fools to, to deal with. I'm building a rocket ship to get me off this rock. It would be crazy. Uh, I caught a crucian carp. My skills are sharp. Indeed they are. Well, oh, you need to launch Eco. It's so fun. If you can get a, a good group of people to play it together, it can be such a fun game. And it's time consuming, but super fun. I'm on you. Aha! Catch you again. Planter of trees, my ass. Neither have axe plant trees. Only job. <laughs> Be thin. That's. That, I, I will have you know. I was always trying to run around after the dapplings, cleaning up their mess and replanting the forest that they had consumed like plague of locusts. A fresh water goby. Time to go by by oh, really. Oh dear. I highly recommend Eco. It's a very, very interesting game. I mean just from from the angle of what they're trying to do with it, I like it. Let's get you. Those plants over there. Wow. You were eager. You tried to catch me off guard, but no, not that. That worked on me once. Never again. I would like an ocean fish, though. If we can get one, I would be happy. Can I fish from over here? I bet I could. If I could see somewhere worth fishing. Uh, but there are none right now. Now the 
you are new. So let's go and have a look in the fish side of things. There we are. Freshwater goby. Oh, it's a, it's a year-round fish. Again, though, this is a fish that you're going to catch uh, later in the day or at night. You going to wiggle? No, you're not going to wiggle. I'm getting tired and I've been too steeped in Warhammer 40k recently. I just misread the Dark Havoc as Dark Angels. <laughs> I mean... Ah... Uh, Dark Havoc has been, has been known to... Uh, uh oh. Need that thing quickly. And. Whoop, pow! Got you. Um. I. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say the Dark Abbot was, 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 you know, following the footsteps of Sanguinous, but. I'm just saying that, that perhaps that he's following the footsteps of Sanguinous. Ah, what? He certainly does does seem to uh, have a, a large amount of people following around and, and trying to deify him. Doesn't have wings, though. Yeah, we're working on that. Rimworld will one day give us the option for wings. I'm sure of it. Uh, how does my Critopedia look like that? Uh, well, if you bring up your Critopedia... And if you look down on the bottom, you can go from display list with an X or display pictures. I just think the pictures look much nicer. No, oh, damn it. Let's go inside. I need something. How do you highlight a comment? Please help. Uh, yeah, pretty much like that. <laughs> Great shot. Bang on. How can I help you today? Well, I want to sell things. Of course. What exactly are you offering? Well, more or less the same stuff I've been offering for a little while, but uh, just more of it. Uh, the Crucian Carp. Yes, yes, yes. And that'll be good. I think... Yes, I'll save the Kobe. I'll save the Luch. Well, no, we get loads of the Luches. And to be fair, we get loads of these as well, but we'll, I'll save them for now. Right, let's go. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me a moment to run the numbers. Who would ever highlight comments? I know, right, Megan? Sold. No, how many bells have we got? Can we actually check that on this? Oh, actually, first, we probably... Yeah, there we are. Look, Miles. Perfect. And that's just going to keep changing. Oh, sell fruit. Well, that one won't be too hard. Capture memory will be easy enough done. A horse mackerel is going to be a lot harder. Um, but we'll get there. Now, that one doesn't have the uh, times two bonus anymore, but that's still fine, though. I do like that you can make a decent chunk of progress just by playing. Despite the the, the sort of timing stuff. I'll be back for you in a moment, Moth. Well, in fact, well, I mean, I should get you. Pow! I caught a Moth. I will keep catching them, because they basically are the... Uh, every couple of seconds, more or less. It's craziness. Oh, well, take care, Dutrius. You're welcome here. I'm really glad that you enjoyed the stream. My household will be drinking a lot more tea, especially when the soda runs out. Well, the milk ran out in uh, in the uh, the grocery store. Um, the the shelves were just empty today, and I was like, "Yeah, for those who can't uh, palate." tea that uh, isn't uh, milky, that is going to be a pretty bad time and you don't want to see what Britain gets like when the tea is shut down. Oh no. No, 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 no. Hey, hiya, Mishima. 
Thank you very much for the Prime there. Seven months. Hello. Please can we get some love in chair for Mishima, because uh, keeping any kind of Prime streak going that long is pretty hard to do. Right. Crucian Cup. Sure. Look at you. You're still wiggling and everything, and I've just had you in my pocket for ages. I feel a little bit bad, I'm going to be honest. So, let's uh, pop you down proper. Place item. Not Bilal, you have a friend! Hooray! And... We are going to place... I'm off up here. Uh, by up here, I mean we're going to showcase them all. Ah! That's amazing! I like it! Also, I like the music. Am I just shaking, buddy? Me and... Right. I need to get you. Thank. Oh, this is grand. Leafing, come here. Uh, I mean, not leafing, come here. I want... You down. Don't worry, Bilal. You're no longer chaperone. Actually, what we need to do... Got to keep uh, not leafing and not gnawing apart. Ah! Damn it. The world's address! Thank you very much for the 18 months, mate. Cheers, buddy. Then, not leaving can go back. There we go. <laughs> really like this. Uh, however, kind of need to move these around, I feel. And then we are going to place down my switch. The lantern can then live in the corner. There we go. That looks gorgeous. I like it. I could name the other pets. That's a good point. Okay, so... Who's chaperoning, not leaving and not knowing? I think that would be... Hmm. Who is responsible enough for this extremely important task? I'm going to say it is... Not meta. Yeah, that, that's, that's fair. Not meta. Okay. And then we've got... Our two new friends, down the bottom right here, we've got, um, let's think. Let's get a nice close-up. Well, uh, Angelus Folly on the left. Not, not Angelus Folly. It is actually Angelus Folly. And we've got Matten on the right. There we go. Sorted. Moving on. Hey, Glodran, how you go? How are you doing, mate? Always amazing to see you on the Founders in chat. All right, now then, I should be able to do a bit of choppery. Hey, it does actually respawn the materials quickly. Ah, oh, so good. I was really worried that that was going to be a problem between Sheila and I, especially if we both wanted to, to kind of. Showcase the game on the same day. Or maybe I just never did that tree. Oh no! It is a case that I just never did that tree. Poop. Well, that makes things more awkward then. 
Can I uh, Moomoox? Oh. I need more wood. I need soft wood though. Yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid areas where I've cleared the the uh, weeds because it's much easier to identify areas where you can harvest if it's because there's weeds around them. There we go, softwood. I can see that becoming a bit of a scarce resource. Now, Chad, I'm going to rely on you when we uh, swap over and uh, go raid Sheila. You're going to need to let her know that basically all of the trees to the south of the island I have avoided harvesting lumber from. Ooh. Apparently, I've also. Maybe they are respawning reasonably fast. Yeah, planting uh, planting flowers would be a good idea, but right now it's just going to be the weeds. What? <gasps> Insect friendo! Quickly! Gotcha. Yes! I got a pill bug! That's a tough act to swallow. <laughs> what? Oh, no. Why are you trying to eat pill bugs? And... A chunky great big bag of bells, my lord! You've been sitting on the screen all day. Take care, KMP. Enjoy. Oh, before you go though, what uh, what fruit do you have on your island? Failed on that one. Tool ring is amazing. Yeah, I imagine it will be. Come on, you. Yeah. Apples, ah, uh, same as same as me then. Ooh, got another bitterling. It's mad at me, but only a little. Ooh, whoosh! Is that close enough? Come on. What do we got? Take care, loon cloud. What the? My lord, your eyes, though. What? Uh, your friend has peaches, so he sent me out. Nice. Yeah, we're probably going to have a big old uh, exchange of fruit amongst all the dapplings. Uh, we can probably set up a bit of a chat room on the Discord server so people can easily work out who's going where. But where you need, who you need to ask for certain types of fruit. What an olive flounder. That's not the pits. Okay, well, that was, that was actually pretty amazing. I'm very happy with that. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Stop being so sneaky. Orange is awesome, star system. No, my net! Ah, stand out of line for my trust, trusty flimsy net. That's a moment. Come on, then you. Look the other way! The other way! Ah. Suck! I wonder if that counts against my, uh, 10, uh, catches without letting one go. Oh, poop, that definitely does. Uh, the worst thing is, is I realized what I'd just done before I even did it. I, like, my, my brain realized, oh, no, I've sent the signal to my thumb. Ah, oh, no, it's too late now. Plop. But yeah. I do wonder if uh, that would have counted against it anyway.
Well then you gotta start the the whole whole start again. Oh, I mean, come on. Why are you gonna do me like this? Come on. Let it let it get over your head. Come on. No, you're not gonna play ball, are you? That is no any close enough. Uh, only counts as a miss catch if a fish goes off the hook. Oh, okay. Hooray! A red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. I'm very happy with that. I need a horse mackerel though, so I need to continue searching around the uh, ocean tiles. That is not going to be in a good place, is it? No, nope, I need to be further back for that one. I need to be further back again, I imagine. There we go, that's a bit better. Got your attention. Oh, caught a dab. Not bad. But now, Pocket Camp, I'm watching Avak play the new game. <laughs> well, hopefully, uh, I hope that you're enjoying it. Right, let's have a look. Got a couple of things. Got a dab. And an olive flounder. The derpiest eyes ever. There we go. Pillbuck. Can't catch them in July or August. Go and say hello to Tammy. Hello. Oh, you're here again. You heard? Forget something. Came back for a chat. Hey, how you sleep last night? This island's so quiet at night. It's almost weird. You heard? I mean, don't get me wrong. I slept like a lot, but I wouldn't mind some more action around here. You've got amazing sleeping bags, though. Both of you do. Oh, they, they, I love the way they, they wave goodbye. That's so amazing. Um, we've got some more miles, I think. Uh, Island Ichthyologist. In your Critopedia with fish and urn miles along the way. There we go. Ten. Small fry and Pesca Pro. Yeah, Alex slowly walks out. Yeah. I mean, come on. You saw that that was going below. Uh, do we have another room for you? We do, but I don't actually have a net anymore, so we don't. Not really. Yeah, I have Hammy and Tammy. It's amazing, isn't it? Hey, hello, everyone. Let's have a chat with Tom. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? Well, well, what should I do, actually? Let's see what he says. Yes, yes, that is quite the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for Blathers to set up. Ah, but you're looking for a practical suggestion. Hmm. Well, your lovely future home is already under construction, so perhaps it's time to start thinking about furnishings. May I humbly suggest checking out the Nook Shopping at Nook Stop? Okay. Hello. You can buy my stuff. I am offering many things, actually. Uh, 
As dapper as you are, Red Snapper, I'm afraid that we must sell you. Uh, Pillbug will keep, though. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. I'm done. I can buy these from you for 6,060 bells? I feel that maybe some of those fish are ready. No, thank you. It's the snapper. Yeah, that would make sense. Right, well, that was actually pretty amazing. Now, we're not, what's next on the chart? Seashells. Oh, uh, cell shells. See, you should have given me that earlier. Uh, catch a horse mackerel. Spend bells to buy items. Well, spend 5,000, though. I mean, I guess I could. All right, let's craft. Free softwood, and I just don't have it, and it's slowly killing me. Why? Maybe I can buy some softwood. I leave this room for about 15 to 20 mins, and Avic is suddenly much richer. <laughs> it's funny how that happens. Uh, what's for sale? Oh, take care, Mantico, no star. Uh, let's have a quick look then. Buy the apples, but sapling, cedar sapling. I mean, I imagine with those, it's more of a eventually this will uh, pay off. I can sell in singles or in bulk. How many would you like? I would like. Sure, I'll take five. Thank you. Uh, anything else look interesting? Well, I've got the red hyacinth bag, I believe. I'm fairly certain it was right hyacinth, wasn't it? I can't remember now, but... We'll see what we can do with red and orange. I don't think we can do much with, with those two in particular, but... Badger Blast, Belial. That's the, that's the answer to the question you want. Right, okay, so... Nook shopping. Let's have a look at what we can do. Because we'll hopefully get these soon. I've already bought this. I've already bought the rain boots. Um, sure. I'll buy a nice big uh, outdoor table. Let's have a look at redeeming some of my nook miles as well. Uh... Yeah, let's get with the tool ring. Sure. <laughs> I like that little printout. The order has been printed. Huh? Okay. Yeah. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. Hooray. Hey, Ika, how are you doing, mate? How is your island adventure going so far, buddy? Also, we got apples on my island. What was it that you had on yours? Go on, then. Let's get custom designer pro. We all know I want it. There's no point in pretending I don't. Awesome. Thank you very much for the frame code, Betty. Your has been processed. Please place your nook book. You got peaches as well. Awesome. We've got a couple of people with peaches. A few, I think one or two people with oranges. Pro edition of Custom Designs app now. I'm gonna make a debut as pro designer. Peaches, oranges, apples, and cherries. Yeah, that's the other one, cherries, I've seen someone mention. 
Uh, it is a shame that we can't get any... Um, more softwood. That appears also. Well, 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 okay. So, the way we do this is going to quamp. There we are. Oh, that is so much easier. You are absolutely correct. That is crazy easy. Oh, we need to take a picture for points. Sure. That's actually a uh, remarkably nice picture, I've got to be honest. Yeah, it's something like that. No frame on this one. Sharp is pretty. Pop really does pop. Soft makes it look like winter a little bit. Dramatic? Hmm. I don't know. I think sharp or possibly dramatic? What does chat think? Uh, Clelk, yes, I have found a uh, big old uh, rock with a massive uh, sack of bells under it, yeah. Looks like we've got a little bit more going for sharp right now. Okay. I think that looks lovely. Take that picture, junk. Yeah, I like it. With that, we've got another Nook Miles we can claim. Capture a memory. Perfect. Complete DIY project. That one actually wouldn't be too bad because you could just get that from doing a bunch of tools. The sell fruit one, I only need to sell five for that. Ah, the horse mackerel one is the difficult one. Angling for perfection. I've got to cast a hundred. What? I've just got to get uh, more fish for the Critopedia there. We need to... I think this is one where you talk with them every day rather than talk to a number of them. Action creep crawlies. Oh, 20 through the 100, actually. That's pretty good. Uh, you can earn miles for filling out your Critopedia. You can find every bug and unlock every entry. Yes, yes, you can. And please do consider supporting Blathers by donating bugs to the museum. Well, I would like to try. Uh, we've got to do a lot more DIY for that, though. Got to break a lot more tools. I mean, that one isn't too bad. I wouldn't mind getting uh, more. We only need to get two more pieces of furniture, though. Um... We're not going to see that one for another day or so, I would say. Using a tool and brilliant breaks, proves the hard work. Greedy weeder. Ah, I could sell enough weeds to get that one, actually. Plant flowers makes our island more beautiful. Well, I've got flowers to plant, so... You encourage floral growth by showering the island's flowers with water. I'll encourage your growth by showering you with a nook miles. <laughs> Fair enough. I actually quite like that one. So, sure, let's go and take care of that. Now, we've got five plants to place. Now, the way that uh, I'm not planting this this little 
um, patch here in any way that will realistically get us um, new seeds, unfortunately, but we'll definitely have a look in the future. The way you do is you leave space up, if I remember correctly, and then you've got a chance of them propagating and they will inherit the qualities of the, of the flowers around them. So you can get cross-bred flowers, which is actually pretty cool. Um, 